welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this super easy rose gold, bronze, very shimmery makeup look. It's really not that hard. I'm not by any means um, amazing at makeup. I never really know what's going on. So if I can do this, believe me, y'all can do this. And it didn't take me a whole lot of time. Obviously the video takes a little longer because I have to explain everything, but this is kind of like my go-to if I'm gonna be going out or if I really wanna look good and it's really not that hard. So if you wanna see how to get this makeup look, keep watching. Okay, so obviously I'm starting off with literally nothing on my face. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna use, I've been using this for like a little while. It's kind of like a new product to me, not in general, but I've been trying to get my skin right ever since last month because it's not horrible, but it's not great and I'm getting married and so I don't really want it to look anything but perfect. So I've been using this moisturizer. It's just the Cetaphil, Cetaphil um, Daily Facial Moisturizer with sunscreen and I just use this to kind of help my skin out. It's kind of combination skin, so this works really well for it. So I'm just gonna kind of put that everywhere. And then I'm going to use my Primed and Poreless Too Faced Primer. Um, I talked about this in my last video, how I don't really understand the difference between primers and if one works really well or not. But I think this one works really well, so if you're in the market for a primer, I'm gonna recommend this one. However, you might wanna do your research because primers are not exactly my forte. So I'm just gonna put that everywhere um, so that my makeup goes on more smoothly, which the moisturizer also help with. But um, this will just kind of fill in any, I'm sorry if I'm like looking at the viewfinders because I've literally dropped my mirror, I'm doing everything in like a little um, screen. So this will just help everything go on smoother and fill in like all my pores, which looks nice. So got that on and then I have, this is the um, foundation that I've been using for like a really long time. Um, it's the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation and my shade is Ivory and I'm just gonna be using this Beauty Blender, which is disgusting, I'm sorry. Um, which is from, I think, Real Techniques. And I just put like a little, can you see that? Like pump and a half on the back of my hand. And then I put it on my face first because I feel like if I put it straight from Beauty Blender into here, it like wastes a lot of product. So I'm not trying to do that. So I just kind of like dot it all over. A little ridiculous right now, but it'll get better, hopefully. <laughs> and then I just take this and blend it all in. Don't forget to bring it down like below your jawline so there's not just like a harsh line because a lot of people forget to do that. right now and I'm gonna talk about that but next and it's just gonna get worse so next I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair to conceal like under my eyes and then in a few different areas I have some not so cute things going on and just places where I get a little bit of redness which would be like right around my nose and just kind of in my t-zone so I'm gonna take the same beauty blender and just blend all of that out. So next I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Translucent. Um, I had this a long time ago before I understood basically anything about makeup and I didn't really get it, so I didn't use it. And now I understand the whole baking shenanigan, so I actually, Really like this stuff. I use my beauty blender again, but I use this flat side that's not totally disgusting. And I just dip it in there and then 
with small cookies. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, so I'm gonna be shocking to you that this looks not exactly the most amazing. But yeah. And I'm just putting that in places where I want my makeup to really stick. So basically the places I just concealed and like in the inner like triangle of my face. So, my dog is wearing inside. So I'm just gonna leave that for right now. Um, it's still on there, obviously, you can see. And I'm going to do my contouring slash bronzing while that's setting, basically. I'm using the Park Avenue Princess palette. Um, and I'm using this brush from BH Cosmetics. It's just like a rose gold, um, like, angled brush. And I literally take these three colors and just like use them all. So I feel like that's not exactly I'm supposed to do it, but it works really well for me, and then I'm just going to contour my face. Okay, so I'm aware that this looks literally insane. But I'm going to be taking my, what is this, MAC, hold on a minute, I'm pretty sure this is a MAC brush, and just blending everything out and like wiping all this in so that it all looks smooth and like blended. And then I'm going to take this brush from BH Cosmetics and just sweep all of the excess powder out from the places that I was baking. So then I'm going to take my MAC blush. I've literally had this so long, I don't even know if I can read it anymore. Oh, it's AA5 Bennett. And it's Melba, and it's just this pink blush. I've had it for honestly probably three years, which don't even come at me with it's probably not good anymore. I know that, but you know what? Whatever. And I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks, just right above where I contoured and blend it all together. Then I'm gonna be using my, precisely my brow pencil from Benefit, which is this little like silver pen, and I'm gonna be filling in my eyebrows. I'm gonna be taking my Painterly Paint Pot um, from MAC and priming my eyelids. So I'm just gonna put that from lash line all the way up to eyebrow. So from there, I'm gonna be taking my Naked 3 by Urban Decay palette and I am just gonna begin my um, eye look, which is gonna be just kind of a rose gold smoky eye. Um, and I'll tell you, a guy, you guys what colors I'm using as I go. Um, but I'm not gonna use a little brush that comes with it. I'm just not like a huge fan. Um, so I'm using all of my BH Cosmetics brushes, which is what I use for literally everything right now. So the first one I'm gonna use is this um, like thick, I don't know how to explain that, just kind of, you see that? It's just like a thick brush and I'm going to be taking the shade Dust right here and putting it all over my lid and a tiny bit into the crease, but not much. I also have to look into this mirror while I'm doing this, so hopefully you guys can still see. So next I'm going to be taking this um, fluffy brush and I'm going to be taking the shades Limit and Nooner and mixing them together and putting them just kind of in my crease but mostly concentrating on the outer corner. that up I'm taking the same where it go? Mm -hmm. the same brush that I used for the first color on this um yeah the same brush and I'm gonna be taking the shade factory and putting that in literally just the outside little corner
And then to blend all that out, I'm gonna be using the same blending brush. I'm just going to kind of sweep all that together so there's no harsh lines. And then lastly, I'm gonna be taking this little bitty, like almost flat brush, and I'm gonna be taking the shade Dark Side and putting it just here and then a little bit into my lash line on the top and on the bottom.
makeup lasts out the day and it helps it stick so that it's not like slipping. Um, especially if you're in Florida like I am and it's gonna be really hot. So that is the end of this video and that's my finalized makeup look. And it even interrupts the outro. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a pretty easy, I think, since I'm not exactly